Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in isometric. It is May 2023, Mumbai University, Engineering Drawing Paper. Now if you see in front view, there are two parts, part 1 and 2. Now in front view, there are two parts, in top view, there are three parts. So if you see part 1 is nearer to you, so we'll start with part 1. So what I will do, I will draw part 1 first. I'll take 20, then I'll take 65 from down and I'll go up by 15. Then I will join this. So I'll get the first part. Now as soon as I get the first part, the same thing is behind. So I will take every point behind by 65. Now after that, we need to draw part 2. If you see part 2, the width of part 2 is 30. So what I'll do, I'll take midpoint of 65 and I will take 15, 15 on both the sides. See, this is part 2, right? It is inside. So that distance is here. So I took 15, 15 from the center and I got that distance. From there, I'm drawing horizontal line. Now I'll go up by 35 and I will draw line which is going on the slope. See that this much will be done. Now we need to draw a line going towards the slope like this. Now what we will do, we'll mark this distance. Again I'll do, now this distance I need to mark up also to draw a parallel line. So what I'll do, again I'll take midpoint and I'll mark 15, 15. See this way. So this parallel line is important. Once you know the parallel line, so you'll know where that line is going to touch. See this, this slot or you can say slope so we'll come to know this will be done now you have to take this part behind by how much this front part part 2 you take it behind by 30 30 30 so from all point you take 30 30 30 and you again draw See, by this way, you will get part 2. Now, if you check part 1, this you have to take 65 behind. So, according to my drawing, it's coming 1 millimeter outside. It's very tricky. Normally, it should not come. But in this case, it is coming. So, I'm drawing. So, you check your diagram. If it is coming outside, the second part, then only you draw. Otherwise, you don't draw. And this slope. So we are done with this part 1 and 2 now only thing we need to draw is that slot angular slot which is given so I'll take 10 from here and I will draw a line then I'll mark midpoint and from there I will take 12.5 12.5 on both the side for 25 and here I will take 8 8 from center I will take 8 8 for 60 After that, you find the midpoint and you mark 12.5, 12.5 like this. Now, in this case, you can draw it directly because there is no angle. If there is angle, then we need to draw it outside and then we have to draw it inside. We'll make the remaining line dark. See like this, the top surface is done and we need to draw one vertical line. So, I hope everyone understood this isometric view. Thank you.